Hey there, everyone. I hope you are all doing good. Stasma here. Welcome to this new episode of Schlappy Patching. In this one, I'm going to take an unusual approach and I'm going to show you this quite complicated patch, play around with it a little bit, and then I'm going to try to first explain it to you and then I'm going to try to do it again. Okay, that was fun. The art of the patch is a pinged angle grinder. Let's try to listen to it without any processing on it. That's it. That was the art of the patch. I'm sending a very short envelope at the input, the grind input. I'm basically using the resonance to make that little ping, that little percussion that is just a click basically, resonate at the frequency of the filter. By setting it very low, you get that sort of nice percussion. 
then it was sent to the 100 grid using the distorted output to add lots of noise and lots of oomph to it. some spring reverb as well. What I like about this already is that it sounds very test equipment like, very like uh, not synthy at all, it sounds like weird equipment derived and uh, abused to make sound. If you start to add some resonance it's even worse. both of these are modulated using stepped voltages coming from all this weird nibbler part. The mid clock is this guy. It's clocking one nibbler that's then clocking another one and all of this is used to modulate and using the stepped voltages and the gate to create the rhythm that we have pinging the filter. I start to change stuff around here. We'll have some different rhythms. Some of these are combined into the bit mix for new step voltages used to control some of this. Flip it to add, I have a new modulation here that's much more aggressive. Basically set the angle grinder into self-oscillation. Just at the flip of a switch I can really change the patch. Then the nice chords that you've heard are from a jig strip. Let me fade it in again. What I've done here is that I've used that prototype bit fold. It's basically a pre-production prototype. It's just something on the panel that changed, but it's basically doing the same thing. So what I've used it for here is that I've sent a step voltage at the input and a very slow LFO at the control. So it let that step voltage go in and activate the bits. And I'm using out 8, which is the less often happening bits. This is used to trigger the sequencer, the advance of the sequencer of the GX3P. So it's only happening once in a while in a rhythmic fashion because the signal at the input is rhythmic as it's the step voltage. Even if the control is unsynced, we get something that's synced. And then the last sound is just simple sine wave going through boundary VCA but sent straight into the beat fold, not the other beat fold, as an audio processor. does that super screechy sound that blends well when I use the this version of the patch I can add some 
extra modulation to it to mangle it a bit more. The modulation is not to the pitfall, it's just to the internal generation. Okay, let's unplug all this and try to do it again. Okay, so, first, the pig. Master clock. To clock in of this nibbler. I think I've used the carry out, if I remember well, to trigger a boundary. The out, if I listen to it, is just a click. But if I send it to the angle grinder, then pass output. I can make it resonate at the frequency of the filter. And the more I add resonance, which is backward here on the damp knob, the longer it will ring. So I want the pitch of this to change on every hit. So I'm going to use that signal to trigger the second nibbler. I'm going to take one of the stepped out, attenuate it, I want a more percussive flavor, something I haven't done before in the other patch would be to send my short envelope trigger thing to the FM input. Just adds a tiny bit of percussion. Then, I wanted to process this to make it sound nasty, basically, to make it sound mean is the right word. So let's put everything at zero except the input gain and the output gain. Oh yeah! done last time was to send an out of phase step modulation the same as doing the pitch control the gain as well let's make that clock a bit faster send some control voltage to this filter. What I like with modules is that when you try to recreate a patch, you never do the same thing twice. But this is pretty cool as well, I like it. We can alter the sound of the pigs as well. I like this one. Let's just go sending a step voltage 
to the input. Because this is the other very interesting part of this patch. It's to use the beat fold as some sort of a 4-bit or logic VCA, as they like to call it. Slow LFO at the CV input. So it will let pass through that step voltage. You can set it so it doesn't reach that 8 out that often, and then use that to fire the sequencer of the jig strip. Inverted band pass out. Send it to this beat fold. And the uh, stepped out. Here. Yeah, I like that. some of the beat output of this one to control this. Just some clicks here to add some rhythm. Those could be further processed by pinging something as well. It would be great, but I don't have anything to ping left here. This is just, yeah, stuff to do that you can try. Dissolve all this into madness. I will leave you on this. Goodbye, everyone. See you next time. Bye bye.